Hi. Uh, in this segment, we're going to just kind of go through uh, some of the basic components with the lock line so that you can get familiar with the various components and, and a little bit of how you would use them. The first component here is obviously is the lock line tubing itself. Again, it's flexible, it's positionable, each bead is independent from the next. There are three different sizes. There's the three quarter inch, which is the most commonly used in the assisted technology field, and that's this size here. Any of the kits that you order, or uh, any of the um, items that you order, unless you specify a smaller size, you will get the three quarter inch size. It holds the, the most weight and it gives you the, the most structural support. This is a three inch uh, polycarbonate plastic disc. Um, this, this little disc here is very commonly used for switch mounting, um, for holding lightweight devices um, such as uh, you know, a flashlight or maybe a, a, a lightweight like a, a telephone or something like that, an iPhone. Um, when you buy these discs, it does come with this uh, fixed mount piece already attached to it. So it's ready to, ready to go, snap into your lock line. It also comes uh, in the kits. If you buy a kit with this, you'll get a Velcro, uh, Velcro discs that come with it as well. Right next to that, we have the 4x6 plate. This plate is commonly used for, again, lightweight devices such as a, a cell phone or a lightweight communication device. Um, you can also use this in, in one of our kits. It's used for supporting tablet devices, and uh, we'll talk about that in one of the later videos. But again, if you buy this plate, the 4x6 plate, it will come with the fixed mount piece already attached to it. The next item here, this is our iPad holder. Um, this specifically works for the iPad 1 through 4. It does not work for the Air and it does not work for the Mini, uh, but we do have other, um, uh, other options for you in supporting those devices. Um, it is a spring-loaded tablet holder, so it's got a nice, uh, nice uh, strength spring that holds, it, uh, holds your tablet device in place there for you. Um, you can buy this separately or you can buy it as part of a kit. Um, the next item here is our tube clamp kit. Um, a lot of wheelchairs don't have a good flat spot that you can mount spring clamps to, um, so as an alternative we have this tube clamp. And if you can imagine, this would be the, the tubing on the wheelchair or a bed. Uh, this clamp works ideally on 1 inch or 7 8, uh, 7 8 tubing. Um, there is an insert that comes with it, and what you can do is wrap this insert around the tubing to build up the size if you're using uh, like the 7 8 or something similar size. It's not going to work if you go uh, tubing that's really small, like a half inch or something like that. It's, it's not going to work very well on. Um, the next item is the spring clamp. The spring clamp, again, comes with the mounting bead already attached to it. Uh, also, we call that the fixed mount. The spring clamp is used for mounting onto flat surfaces. It is a two inch clamp, so it'll, it'll clamp onto something that has a two inch thickness or something thinner. This works really well if you have a table or a desk you're trying to clamp to. If you have a decent flat spot on a chair or a tray or something like that, it works really well. It does not work uh, on if you have something very thin that you're trying to put it on or if you're trying to put it on the tubing, it's not going to be really, uh, really sturdy. So getting into some of the other components, this, this piece is called a double socket. As you can see, the normal lock line has a ball end, or we call a ball end, it's the rounded end, and then it has this socket end. Well, this piece here has a socket on both ends instead of having a ball and a socket. The reason for this piece, and it's important to understand this one, is if you want to connect a piece of lock line and you have a fixed mount bead at one end, the ball, the ball end of the fixed mount goes into the socket end of the lock line and that would snap together. But if you wanted to put, say, this three inch disc, now you have two pieces that have what we call the ball end together. So you would take this double socket and put it in between them and that would change the pattern of the ball to socket so that you could accommodate another piece there. Another item is this, uh, is this Y fitting. So you can take the lock line in some applications like supporting an iPad or a tablet device. We use a two arm system to provide extra strength and rigidity. It's important to have this piece because this is what you use to join two lock line arms together and then from there you would put your tablet holder or a plate or you know whatever uh, other component you wanted to snap together. But this piece gives you the ability to join two arms together to give you a little extra strength. Um, lastly here we've got the assembly pliers. Uh, again these are for the three quarter inch system and uh, on the pliers it says ball end up and socket end up and that kind of tells you the pattern of the the lock line and how you need to orient the pliers for putting the lock line together 
Uh, again, it's used just for assembling the lock line. It's not used for taking the lock line apart. Um, to take the lock line apart, you simply bend it on itself until it pops.